So years ago, I was a youth leader, and we are getting ready to take a group of kids to a youth event called Acquire the Fire. Now, this particular event I was very excited about because they had a lot of cool bands. It was P.O.D. was going to be there, Skill was going to be there, DC Talk was going to be there, so you know the performances were going to be just crazy, right? Um, in the morning, as I was getting ready for Acquire the Fire, I had to put on some lotion. I didn't want to go out there and be ashy. The problem was, when I was putting the lotion on, uh, it was a brand new lotion I had bought like from the Dollar Tree the day before. And I was putting it on and it was dark in my room so I couldn't really see anything. And I was just putting on lotion, just lathering up. I was putting it everywhere. I had gobs and gobs, just tons of lotion all over. I, I was very, very lubricated, I guess. I, you know, I was, I was, I was ash free. Uh, but I did this all like in the dark basically, right? Uh, I get outside. And as I'm walking down the street, I notice people are looking at me crazy. They're like looking at me all wild and like making weird faces. And what I came to realize a little bit too late is that the lotion that I had got was actually a girl lotion. Yes, it was a girl lotion. And not only was it a girl lotion, it had glitter inside. I didn't see this because I put it on in the dark. But when I went outside, I was just shining bright like a diamond, sparkling everywhere. What happened was, I didn't have any light on in the room when I got prepared. It's important to have light, and you can see when you don't have the light, what kind of problems you could get into. Now, that actually ties into today's lesson, because do you realize that Jesus actually calls himself the light? And when you have a light, it can help you see in dark situations. Pretty amazing, right? Well, I don't want to give the whole lesson away. We're going to get into it, but I think before we go any further, we actually have to find out what today's wonder truth is. So, let's do it. What is up, my Braymore kids? So, Today we are going through our one of truth, and that is God gives us the Bible to know who he is. We are talking about how each one of us are made in an amazing, loving way. So we're gonna talk about our eyes. So if you guys have brown eyes, any boy or girls that got brown eyes, stand up, stand up, stand up. Come on, I'm gonna hear you. I'm gonna give you two seconds. One, and a two. All right, you ready? Repeat after me. God gives us the Bible to know who he is. All right, great job. You guys can sit down. For my friends that got like blue eyes, I want y'all to stand up. Stand up, come on. Give me two seconds. A one, a two. All right, repeat after me. God gives us the Bible to know who he is. All right, that's great, that's great. All right, now you guys can sit down. For my friends that got green eyes and any other color eyes, I want you to stand up. Come on, stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. All righty, so repeat after me. God gives us the Bible to know who he is. Alrighty, you guys can sit down. Thank you so much for saying the one of truth with me, and I will see you guys next time. Hey, it's the Bible time. So please grab your Bibles and let's jump into today's scripture, which is the backbone of what we're gonna talk about today. Psalms 119, verse 97 at through 105, real deep in that chapter. Oh, how I love your law. I meditate on it all day long. Your commands are always with me and make me wiser than my enemies. I have more insight than all my teachers, for I meditate on your statutes. I have more understanding than the elders, for I obey your precepts. I have kept my feet from every, every evil path so that I may obey your word. I have not departed from your laws, for you yourself have taught me 
How sweet are your words to me. They taste sweeter than honey on my mouth. I gain understanding from your precepts. Therefore, I hate every wrong path. Your word is a lamp for my feet and a light to my path. There's a lot to unpack from this scripture. And so I want you to stay tuned and see this clip first. And then we'll talk some more because Psalm 119 and those verses specifically have lots to say to us that we can learn from. Welcome back, friends. It's Jeremiah, and I'm so glad that you're tuning in. Wait, wait a minute. Can you guys see me? It's a little dark in here. Let me turn the light on. Ah, that's better. And hey, it's actually perfect because my next song is about how God's word is a lamp unto our feet. And if you've ever woken up and tried to get a drink of water in the dark, you know how much easier it is when you turn a light on. Just like a light makes it easier for us to move in our houses, the Bible makes it easier for us to know how to handle tricky situations in our life. God gave us the Bible so that we can know Him and what He is like. It talks about how wonderful it is to obey God in His way. You see, when I was younger, there was a boy in school that seemed a little different than the other kids. He was always by himself and he didn't have a lot of friends and I noticed that the other kids would go up and make, make fun of him. Even some of my own friends would go up to his face and call him names. And I just didn't think that was fair at all. Even though he was different, he was still loved by God. In fact, we all are. And, it, and then I remembered Psalm 139, where it says, we are all fearfully and wonderfully made. So I decided to show him kindness. And I asked him to, to sit by me at lunch and I shared my sandwich with him. Then as I was reading Psalm 119, I, I thought it was the perfect example of that story. I knew what God says in the Bible about this boy, and it didn't matter what the other kids were saying. God's word, his word gave me direction on how I should treat him. Just like this lamp is lighting up the room, making it easier to see. And we're not quite sure who wrote Psalm 119. But there's 176 verses that talk about how wonderful the Word of God is. Isn't that wild? The author of this psalm wrote a special poem that includes every letter from the Hebrew alphabet. This reminds us that the Bible can be used for every part of our lives. That means when we get, when we get into a situation where we're not sure what is, what is right or what's best, we can, we can turn to God's Word and learn more about who God is and grow in wisdom and obedience. Now the writer of Psalm 119 also wants us to know that the word of God is sweet like honey. It refreshes our soul. And our lives are better when we listen to the Lord and follow what he says. Isn't it wonderful to know, to know God's word? We get to discover what God is like and who he is. And God wanted us to be able to recognize his way which is why God gives us the Bible to know who he is. So I hope you enjoy this next song. Sit back, relax, and let's get ready to praise. Imagine being in a dark room and trying to see your way around. It's pretty tough, isn't it? When we face situations like this, we can go to God's word, which shines like a light in a dark room. And the light is on and it shows us the way. So the challenge for all of us today is to make sure that we are spending time in God's word. In Matthew 4, 4, Jesus tells us that man doesn't live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from God's mouth. So not only does the Bible serve as a light, but it also gives us the spiritual nutrition that we need to survive. If you're looking for places in the Bible to start reading, check out the book of Psalms, the book of 
Matthew or the book of James for starters. And before you start reading, pray and ask God to show you whatever it is he has for you in the scriptures that wonder which is wow and we've gone over this verse a couple times now i'm confident that you guys got it i think we've got almost like i don't know this week i'm just really feeling like a Ooh. like a fighter spirit with this one you oh, know like really? let's like i always want us to like, tackle this verse fist up ready to go so okay. when we practice this verse we have your fist up and we're gonna be punching it out we're gonna be punching it out as we say it okay and so you're just gonna follow along after me with miss danielle yes i Wait, Miss Monique. Yeah? If we're like fighting it out, right? should we be sitting or oh. standing? No one's winning a fight sitting down. That's not mm -hmm. how that works at all. Oh no, yeah. oh no. So, so I think we all should stand up. Stand up. Yep, stand up. Come on. Come on. Stand everyone. Up. Stand, stand up. up. Everyone. Stand, stand, stand up. up. Start shaking out the arms once you're standing. Get ready. Ready to fight. Ready to fight it out. Okay. Yeah. I think, I think we're ready. I see everyone standing. Okay. All right, you guys ready? Fist up. Now repeat after me. I praise you. I praise you. Because I am fearfully. Because I am fearfully. And wonderfully made. And wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. I know that full well. Psalms 139, 13 through 14. Psalms 139, 13 through 14. Whew. Good job. Good job. OK. I think we can do it. One more time, mm -hmm. one more time. All right, because I saw fun. some fists, they were flying in the air. The oh. form was like, it was pretty good. But like, I know we can do better. So yeah. like, better form and a little bit louder this time, okay? So repeat after me with Miss Danielle. Ready? I praise you. I praise you. Because I am fearfully. Because I'm fearfully. And wonderfully made. And wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. I know that full well. Psalms 139. Psalms 139, 13 through 14. 13 through 14. Woo, good job. And that was our wow. wow. See ya. What is up my Brightmore kids? We are back at our Rewind Review. And we're having a little bit of grace on me because I'm actually the one leading it because I've been wearing so many costumes. Yeah. But we have an amazing consequence today, so stay tuned. If you guys do not know our questions, you try to rewind so you can answer them with us. But our contestants today, we got Miss Monique. Hello. And we got her sister, Miss Danielle. Hi. My twin. Woo woo. And we would love for you guys to play along. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? All right, I heard a lot of yeses. Question one, what does the author of Psalm 119 say that he loves? Um, he says that he loves like God's law. That's very, mm -hmm. very, very correct. Mm -hmm. All right, question number two. The author of Psalm 119 compares God's word to what two things? Um, like a light. He compares God's word like You're halfway there. Oh, what is something that would create light, what is something that would create flash, no they didn't have flashlights, so it wouldn't be a flash. It'd be a lamp. Yeah, It'd be look a lamp. that. Mm -hmm. So it's two to zero. <laughs> what is the reason the author of this psalm says that he is wiser than his enemies? Reason? Because he believes in God and he um, is trusting God. That's true, yes. God gives him wisdom. Great answer. Yeah. Two to one. How does learning God's law or instructions make us wise? Um, oftentimes, <laughs> wisdom is like an applied knowledge of like God's, of how like God made the world. And like he set these rules up in place so that like the more we follow his laws, we walk in his wisdom. Yeah. 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 Perfect. Yeah. Thanks All right. Talking. Number number five. How is God's word like a lamp? Well, I will say when we read God's word and we soak it in and we act like what the word is saying and like what we obey, what God has, 
then we can show like a light and we can reflect his love and joy out from us and people can look at us and be like, whoa, you have joy. Where's that from? And we can be like, oh God, because of his word. That's right. I like it. Thank you. you three to two. <laughs> what is something you've learned about God from the Bebel? Oh. So much. What a loaded question, Sir Joshua the hot dog. Like, it's like, what have I gained from the, like, what I've gained about God, but from his word is how much he cares for us, how much he loves us. And I think that, like, no matter how, like, I can follow his wisdom and follow his plans for me and he's got me like he's in absolute control because like in genesis talks about how he created the world and then in revelation it shows how he's gonna bring the world to a proper end so like i know full well that god is in complete control all right now this last question is worth ten thousand points what is today's <laughs> wonder truth <laughs> don't hit the buttons both of you at the same time <laughs> I know there's God in there. I know. I'm going to feed it to you guys slowly. And whoever gets it first, God gives us wisdom. Nope. God gives us protection. God gives us the Bible. Oh. God gives us the Bible to know. God gives oh. us the Bible to know the light of nope. the Lord. God gives us the Bible to know his work. Nope. God gives us the Bible to know who created the world. He loves. Is. There you go. God create God gives us the Bible to know who he is. And what? it appears that Miss Monique is the winner. I knew the whole time what it was. Yeah, that was a struggle. I, was a struggle. I, was a I know. I love hearing you guys say it. Now, our consequence. I have here a little uh <laughs> Miss Envelope. Ooh. Oh, wow. No. Okay. I'm scared. Mm -hmm. Oh my word. This is the most diabolical. <laughs> Miss Danielle will be getting chalk eyebrows. Oh, Whoa. Whoa. Wow. What this means is we are going to take some chalk and just have a little makeover for Miss <laughs> Danielle. Ah, it appears that yeah. Miss Monique has become well prepared. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I just want to make sure it really shows. Oh, yeah, yeah. Put in the eyebrows, oh, yeah. too. Then, and then I, looks, I think it looks good. Well, I, I kind of like it, You actually. like it? Yeah. Okay. Should How do I look, guys? <laughs> I love it. I think it's a pretty good look. <laughs> well, guys, that was a consequence. I'm so glad that you guys get to be a part of our Rewind <laughs> Review. I will see you next time. Woo. There's so many good things that we learned today, and I'm glad you were here. So. Stay tuned because this series is not done. We'll be back with it next week. Have an amazing time. See ya.